Hello and welcome to another week of energy reading. I'm back in my own house because I had a couple of guests over the last couple of weeks and always had um, filmed the episode there, so to speak, which was good fun. Uh, and today I'm back and I have a guest again. Yay! Hi, everybody. <laughs> my guest this week is Rachel Aldred. She has a, a website called The Bridge to Tranquility. And, uh, and I knew, obviously, uh, that she was coming here today. And um, in my mind, I had this song by Deepesh Mode. I'm waiting for the night to fall. I know that it would save us all. And here in the still, all that you feel is tranquility. And I was like, yeah, awesome, should play it. <laughs> but then I uploaded something weeks ago on YouTube, and they um, blocked the sound. Oh. Because it's, handy, it's copyrighted. And I was like, okay. It's not uh, meant to be. <laughs> I will not do this. So what we do this week, um, as usual, we'll do a one-parter. Um, and we start with the overall energy before we go into the star signs and we are in the star sign of Aries So I will look at the overall energy and then Rachel will look at the um, uh, First star sign which is Aries and we're looking at the second week of April which is Monday the 9th to Sunday the 15th of April and Oftentimes I talk about what's going on with the stars new moon full moon all that kind of stuff and guess what's going on in that week? Absolutely nothing <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably a good thing because then we can just focus on, yeah, on, we what's, can focus going on. on what's going on. And um, yesterday, I um, I always use sort of the same card cards when I do the readings. And then yesterday, um, I came into the healing room here and realized there's a there's a deck that I bought in Germany, Unicorn cards, Einhorn Karten in German, and then I haven't used it in years. I bought it in 2014 and has been in the box ever since. So I apologize to the unicorns, but I felt awesomely drawn to it. So I'm going to use um, unicorn cards today to look at the overall energy. And as usual, I take two cards. So again, we're looking at the week of uh, April 9th to the 15th of 2018. Um, this is the overall energy for the week ahead. And in the background, also as usual, the doggy is awake. He just has been fed, but he wants some... Um, to be fast, which is not happening, <laughs> right? So, what is interesting about this, and I say this every week when we have um, animal cards, these are so-called deity cards. Mm. And sometimes you have a plural of deities. And just like we have this week, we have the unicorn cards, and you have the queen of unicorns. And that means that this week, all of us, we will be um, blessed, in a way, with love and wisdom. And, and compassion. So, and, and then we have the, the magic card, which says magic is everywhere, uh, adventure and, 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 and fun is waiting for you. So overall energy this week um, means that we are all very much loved by our guides, we're very much looked after by our guides, and there's magic all around us, so we can um, let our guards down a little and look at life, and also invite in some adventure and just have fun with it. So the good thing is, and we'll see obviously the star signs are always a bit different because they, they, they usually have stuff to do, <laughs> kind of thing, <laughs> right? But uh, overall energy um, is quite high this week um, and we're fully protected. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. And now I let Rachel look at, uh, at Aries, our first star sign for the week. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Okay, so this week, Aries, I'm feeling a lot like it's time to move on from things. It's time for you guys to find the silver lining of the bad things and time to release all of those things. Don't let anything get up on you. Um, I'm feeling like this week, the beginning of it, you might feel a little bit weighed down, to be honest with you, Aries. Maybe a little bit uncomfortable, I want to say. There's a little bit of a funny feeling in my stomach that I'm getting here now. Um... But what I would say is it's all about releasing it and stepping away from it. You're allowing too much to weigh on you. And it's going to ruin exactly what the weekly energy is for you. So let it go. Find the silver linings and look to the positive for okay. this week, Aries. And we're moving into Taurus. And what is also happening every time uh, I record a video with or without a guest <laughs> is that some star signs, the next star sign has overlapping energy. Um, not, not necessarily the same thing, but similar things to do. Because for Taurus, and my father and my sister are both Tauruses, we have um, this, this, this week um, to be absolutely honest. I wouldn't say brutally honest, but, but you, have, you have the right this week to be absolutely honest. And um, what it says here in this unicorn deck is that in the end, your honesty will be rewarded. 
and um, it, it makes sense. So this is the week to be absolutely honest. And then you have what is called, um, it's funny to speak German, it's called <laughs> Zielstrebigkeit. It's when you go for stuff, right? When you are undeterred and you go for stuff. And this is a week where there are no limits on Tauruses. And you can actually allow yourself to reach for the stars. So this is a good week to, to start over. This is a good week to, to push through stuff that hasn't quite worked. And also, uh, uh, above all things, this is the week where you speak your truth and where you will be heard because your truth is your truth and therefore will be heard. Right? That was Taurus moving into Gemini. Okay, Gemini. So for the week, I'm feeling that you... Um You've got to a point now where you're feeling like everything's becoming very full circle for you. It's, you know, you're looking at it. You've had a good few months of, to begin 2018. And you sort of like, yes, this is where I sort of want to be right now. Um, but your problem is at the moment, Gemini, this week that I feel is there's a lot of people around you that surround you that maybe want to have an opinion or maybe want to sort of distract you a little bit off the path that you maybe should be going on. So there's a big call in here for you to be persistent, but persistent with yourself, persistent with your goals and persistent with your vision. It's okay to keep a positive and see things from other people's view and take them away. But the bottom line is you need to be persistent, you need to be strong and you need to believe in your own foundation because that's the only way the path's gonna continue to go right. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Going, moving into Cancerians and for Cancerians, what I'm feeling, um, so I'm not looking at the cards at the moment, just what I'm feeling is that this will be a bit of a challenging week, um, energetically, uh, but you have um, two cards here, and, and, and the, the first one is basically telling you, telling you that this week, despite the issues that may come your way, um, you have to see the good in everybody. Right? Um, you may be attracting what is called needy people, you may be attracting negative people. To a certain extent you attract on your energy. Right? So if you have a low energy, oftentimes you, you attract low energy people. <coughs> what the guides are saying is, um, don't start arguments. Um, this is not about winning anything. This is about realizing that, that, that when you see the good in every, in every other person, um, it is easier to have conversations and then you have wisdom which is what you have um, already which is inside you and what the guides are saying to, to uh, for the Cancerians this week is um, in all your um, relations and in, every, in all your reactions to situations um, use the wisdom that comes to you and you will be fine. It's also interesting <laughs> because I always look at the depictions of, of the imagery and here you have a medicine man depicted sitting in the middle with the unicorn in the background. And, and when, when uh, um, medicine men sit, or, sit somewhere, it's all about uh, communing, uh, communicating with the guides. So, so wisdom also will come to you this week through meditation and journeying, right? So uh, to cut a long story short, don't argue with, with, with anybody um, when they're argumentative. Remember that uh, they are by default good people. They may just have a bad week. Or a bad day so um, don't overreact if that makes sense and then above all if you are using and employing your wisdom it will all be fine right good that was cancer going into Leo okay Leo so this week um, for a lot of you I'm feeling like um, you've come to this place where a lot of people do on their spiritual journey um, ourselves most likely included where you are lacking in the trust you're not the intuition, you're putting it all aside, you're not listening, you're not flowing. Um, I feel like this week, Leo, a few of you who have maybe started falling back on meditation, falling back on a bit of a routine, it's time for you all now to start getting back into it. It's time for you to open up and reconnect with yourselves. You have sort of, I want to say for some Leos, you've sort of pushed that higher, you know, intuition away and you've allowed life in itself to get in the way and distract you. Um, the bottom line is for this, the reason why for the Leo especially, is at the moment is it's messing with your prosperity. Probably what's happening is I feel like you're stuck in a bit of a cycle. Um, something's gone wrong, which has then put you off this intuition, doing your meditation, doing your yoga because you've sort of gone, oh no, it's not working. 
and that's actually made it not work anymore because now your prosperity is messed up. Mm. So you're sort of going in a little bit of a cycle at the moment, Leah. So there's definitely a calling for you guys to start anew with yourselves, start anew, reconnect, find that place again and find the trust in yourself again. And while I was listening, I was reading a little quote here that is in the, in the, in the calendar, and it is by Thomas Fuller, an English historian, and it says, a stumble may prevent a fall. Oh, wow. And, um, and usually when it sort of comes up during a, during a reading, yeah. it is related, right? So um, you, you probably stumbled, but you didn't fall. Yes. And it's just about time to, you know, uh, come back into the fold and, and yeah, do, and do your stuff. right? pick yourself back up now. Uh, absolutely. That was Leo going into Virgos. And Virgos are having, um, energetically speaking, quite a good week because what uh, what's coming to um, Virgos this week is two things. Number one, you are now able to explore the unknown. So um, any worries, any fears that you have will be non-existent this week once you're in your trust. Obviously, you have to be in your trust. But it is important for you... Um, to, to just keep going and explore stuff, very likely the stuff that you haven't done before as well. Um, so go for it with all your heart and trust that the outcome uh, of this will be quite rewarding and you will probably be, uh, that's what I, what I feel anyway, is that you will be a different person um, once you started exploring. And what, I, what I've been shown by the guides is um, that this has to do with your spirituality. So I'm not necessarily talking about... Uh, uh, um, a, ja a change in job or something, right? Um, this is more about a change in outlook and um, explore stuff that has to do with spiritual growth. That, that's what I'm getting. And also, and this is also what comes across um, um, when, you, when you start um, exploring your, your spirituality at first, you usually do it with other people. You, you, you know, you meet like-minded people, you probably join a circle, you, you know, you, you meditate in a group, this kind of thing. And, and because you are mingling and you will be with other people, um, what the, the second unicorn card here says is that when you are concentrating um, on the, the welfare of the people that you're with, um, you, you too will be rewarded. And in a circle, even though everybody's there for their own reason, people look after each other. So you will be doing very well this week if you explored um, a circle of sorts. And in my experience, um, it can take a while before you find a circle that is truly for you, right? Um, but uh, just for, for fun, um, go and explore a circle this week and look at your spirituality, right? And that's all I got for Virgo going into Libra. I was engrossed then, I'm a Virgo, so I was listening with the heads oh, up. I was good. like, ooh. <laughs> So, Libra, this week, <clears throat> you, well, I'm feeling like um, Libra's being a bit harsh on themselves this week. Um, I feel like the past week you might have been a little bit, towards the end, feeling a bit groggy, feeling a bit worse for wear. There's no, I want to say your self-love is taking the hardest toll right now, Libra. Um, it feels like quite a harsh place to be. Um, the reason why this is coming out is because Law of attraction, as simple as that, literally, spiritual law of attraction. We are magnets, everybody knows it, what we put out is what we get in. Now, I feel like Libra, the worst person you can be damaging yourself, we shouldn't be damaging anybody, but you're damaging yourself and you're damaging how things are coming out and how things are happening around you. Um, sort of similar to sort of the same thing Leo had going on. Um, but the difference here is, um, Libra, I feel like, you're sort of, I can just feel this doubt and this self, self um, guilt. There's a lot of beating up, a lot of beating up behind closed doors and you need to be less judgmental of yourself and you also need to be um, less judgmental of the things that you've done in your past, especially this week. Um, I also feel like on the opposite side, <laughs> there's going to be a situation where you're going to be made to feel like um, you're wrong. You're going to be made to feel like your views are wrong. Stick by your guns, Libra. 100% I want to say be solid as a brick wall um, listen to your intuition listen to yourself listen to what's going on around you but you're seeing it accurately if you feel it's right in your stomach and in your gut it is okay thank okay. you going into Scorpio now and um, what I always find interesting is when you have a, a, a set of cards which has um, tons of cards <laughs> <laughs> and then you have two that are overlapping because you have one that is the Pegasus, 
makes sense if you have a, a Unicorn deck, right, having the Pegasus. But the Pegasus is about opening your heart um, for um, fun and for love. And then the, the second card that we have here today is where you are in service, where you help others. And um, the, the message here is to open your heart not again, you, you know, one heart, so you can open it 25,000 times if you wanted to, but it's the same message. Open your heart this time, because this actually will be the key to your fulfillment. When you open your heart, you may feel a little bit more vulnerable, but when you are super deep, welcome to the club, sensitivity cannot be switched off. And when you are super deep, uh, and, but you open your heart nonetheless, you will attract like-minded people. And when you, once you start meeting your own kind, people who are quite deep, they pick each other and build each other up. So don't worry about, about opening your heart. But um, for Scorpio this week, it's time to open up your heart again and explore your full potential, if that makes sense, right? And now we're going into Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius, for this week, I'm feeling a lot of positivity around you. I'm feeling a lot of um, opportunity. Um, it's a time for you to uh, definitely take some steps. So if there's opportunities happening this week, this is the time to sort of, I want to say, grab the ball by both horns and go with it. Um, another flip side to this um, that's coming up for Sagittarius is either you're involved in it or it's already happening this week and it has been happening for a while. Drama. Drama. And I want to say drama of the kind of gossip and back chat and digs. Um, what you ha and what we all have to understand really Sagittarius is um, if we're on this journey and we're healing and we're working so much on ourselves and we've got this positivity going on to then put such negativity but maybe we're not doing it to ourselves but we're directing it at others still has exactly the same effect you're still bringing yourself down you're still going to feel sensitive so what I want to say is um, for Sagittarius this week um, I don't feel like it's something that's happening just within I feel like it's a circle and it's environment that you are around, be it a person, be it people, be it a place where this gossiping occurs. Um, if it's not, some, as I always say to people, when this, especially when this card comes up, um, if it's not something you can get rid of because it's people that you love and it's people that you care about, it's something that needs to be addressed very clearly that that's not what I am doing anymore and I'm detaching myself from that. As I feel like Sagittarius, you're in a place where this could now start taking a bit of a toll on all of these good things that are already happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Go uh, moving into Capricorn, um, and that leads us then once Capricorn is done uh, with only two more star signs. Yay! Mm -hmm. So we're moving <laughs> quite quickly. We are. For for Capricorns this week, you have you have feathers and intuition, and feathers just mean that um, that doesn't mean that you have to uh, watch out for feathers this week. It just means that, that the guides are around, big time. So you're quite um, protected. And it also means that your guides are there for you. Um, guides listen to you all the time, but oftentimes uh, we don't even talk to them, or a lot of people don't even talk to them. And um, because you have free will, they never override that. You know, they probably go like, ah, oh, I could help here, and then you, you don't say anything. And they go like, okay, maybe not. <laughs> right? So what the guides are asking you to do this time, or this week, is to trust. And, and voice your, your, your concerns, voice your wishes. Um, what I have done for the last 20 odd years, uh, and, and it works very well um, for me and, and, and for those that um, come aboard, if that makes sense, is I always manifest as if it had already happened. And I always manifest with a lot of fun, um, very lighthearted. When people say like, oh, you know, I have no money, I can't move, um, I need some money, they're trying to manifest money, and money is not a spiritual currency. Um, if I needed to move, wanted to move, I would say to the guides, awesome house, thank you so much, can't believe how, how, how large it is. <laughs> or I say like, wow, can't believe it's next to a river, <laughs> kind of thing, right? And, uh, but because I manifested lightheartedly, um, the journey uh, towards the move is easier, right? So that's another thing that, that, that you need to realize this week, that, that you have guides around you and they're more than willing to help you. The other thing is to focus this week on your intuition. Listen to that inner voice that you have. And also remember, your intuition is unbiased. It's not ego, it's intuition. It's a different thing altogether. And when your, your, your inner voice tells you something, 
um, you have the right to listen and make make um, decisions accordingly. Okay, because the, the inner the inner voice is the voice of wisdom, and wisdom always has come from within. So you're just bringing that little wisdom that that sort of sits inside you um, out of you this week, right? Mm -hmm. That was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Okay. Oh, something's just come as well. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Capricorns. Um, about going back into the intuition as well, um, Capricorn. Um, a big blunt message I'm hearing for you, which Thomas has already said in many different ways, is nothing, nobody or nothing can know your path and know what's right for you better than you and your connection. And I feel like a few Capricorns maybe in this week aren't feeling that way. Mm. So that just came with a very stern voice, to be yeah. told. <laughs> and to be fair, I always do that. When, when the guys tell me something, I always make sure I mention it. Yeah, otherwise yeah. it goes on repeating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and also, you know, they, 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 they're they they quite quick. And, yeah. And so they sort of just, <laughs> just, just get it in there kind of thing. Okay, so... Right? So we're with Aquarius now. Mm -hmm. And Aquarius are having, um, in, in a way, quite an easy week. Um, because Aquarius is one of those deeply spiritual uh, um, uh, star signs. So many, many Aquarius are quite, are quite um, sensitive already. And this week, um, you, all you need to do is, is to look at, at the perspective you have on life. Um, so you basically look at situations from a higher point of view. And that will give you loads of answers. And you look at the situations from a higher point of view before you act. And then uh, what, um, what the next card is, is called freedom. Um, and that means as you, as you assess your life and your situation from a higher point of view, um, the, the, the guides can then help you with um, internalizing this newfound perspective and, and apply it to everything that's going on in life and therefore making making it much easier to spot situations that may no longer be working, mm. right? Um, so that was what, Aquarius? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And well, now we're yeah. going moving to the, to the final star sign for the week, which is Pisces, which is my star sign. Mm -hmm. Yay. So we'll be listening, we'll be listening very, <laughs> <laughs> very carefully. Tell me. <laughs> um, quickly there as well, sorry for Aquarius. Um, try, I don't know if this is just them trying to give you like a little quick tip. <laughs> um, Expressing yourself through writing, um, mm. I think that might really, really help with Aquarius this week, um, a little bit of journaling. If you're not a journaler, because I know people that listen to me sometimes and I say journaling, they panic. Um, it's just a conversation with yourself. It's just a conversation of expressing how you're feeling. Yep. And I think that will help to point out those things that Thomas was talking about that may not really be working right now or not feeling so good. So, Pisces. Pisces. <laughs> It's funny because uh, not so long ago we started with Pisces, you know. I know, and now it's the end. And, and, now, and now it's the end, it's kind of thing, you know. Wow. Yeah. Before you know it, we'll be ending all the way again. Yeah, it's absolutely. always the way. Yeah, so, yeah, always. Pisces. Pisces, here we go. <laughs> oh. Very weird message here. Okay. <laughs> I say weird, but you know, nothing's weird, is it? Yeah, nothing and everything. <laughs> nothing, nothing, <and> everything. <laughs> nothing and everything. Um, the message I'm getting here, our policies, um, I have um, a card that I usually say, oh, you know, a male relative, a male close person to you. Um, maybe there's something going on, maybe there's this. But for this, the male, um, the masculinity that's here at the moment, I feel like is to do with practicality. I feel like it's to do with... I want to say this, no offence, how it is. Um, it's time to sort of like shake things up a little bit, but get organised with it. Um, I feel like it's a time that Pisces needs to see a little bit more organisation in their part. I know um, a few Pisces, and I know you've got freely flowing and go with the why, um, but I feel like this is about you guys getting into that practicality and managing things for the positive. Um, a second thing that's now popping up in my head as well um, for Pisces is... Remember any wise words we you were told? Any um, fathers or grandfathers or uncles or brothers that maybe have had a saying or something that you know? It's a time this week to connect back with that and listen to it. I think it's going to have a really, really positive effect on you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. But overall, energy-wise, it's just time to get things in order to let them flow. Yeah. Good. And that's all we have time for this week. And I see you all next week. 
Thank you, Rachel, so much. Thank you for having fun. me. Thank you, guys. And um, <laughs> make sure you um, check the, um, the web presence and stuff, you know, <laughs> because we're putting it in there for a reason. Thank right? you. Thank you so much. See, See you soon. Bye. bye. bye.